Life as a QPS recruit is very full on. It's, you kind of live and breathe academy. Um, you go to bed thinking about what you learnt that day. You wake up thinking about what you're going to learn that in the next day. Um, it is, yeah, it's definitely very consuming, but it's been amazing learning the ins and outs of policing. The purpose of the course is to make sure that the people we've selected to join the organisation are job ready by the time they leave and are sworn in. A typical day for a recruit here at the Academy, um, they would normally commence their morning with a morning parade and roll call. Then depending on what is scheduled for that particular day, they could be doing some of their online learning products and assessment items. They could be having some tutorial sessions with facilitators or they could be undertaking what we have called scenario-based training where they run through um, some practice scenarios in preparation for them being out on the road operationally. It's a challenging course so the expectation upon them is to be committed um, to the learnings that are undertaken within the Academy. So the biggest challenge for me starting was I went from a job that was outside all day every day to being in a classroom and doing lots and lots of study so it was a really big life adjustment for me uh, but yeah after a couple of months <laughs> definitely started to feel like my new normal. Look, the training uh, is critical. Um, it's, it's critical for the organisation to make sure that by the time someone is sworn in that they have the skill set to actually undertake the job. But what it requires is not only an understanding of the laws and the, the legislative power that we have and are able to use in extreme circumstances, but it's also an understanding um, of how they make decisions in a crisis environment at times. And that requires um, a lot of, not only the skills in terms of the learnings, but it, it requires uh, that the people that we select who have a value alignment with the organisation, being strong in integrity, having a sense of community, um, a respect and fairness and professionalism, that, that they apply those values in an operational environment at every time. Upon their successful completion and graduation of the program, they then enter into their first year. So whilst at the academy they're allocated at different training centres around the state, upon graduation they will transfer to those training stations. Within those stations are a number of field training officers who will then, for a first year constable that is a 12 month period, their first two months is 100% supervision and then after that two months is 50% supervision. Through that period of time there's a number of workplace activities that they need to meet the requirements of and at the end of that 18 months, having collectively successfully passed everything, they'll then be confirmed and be a fully operational police officer that can work without supervision. We certainly try and highlight to recruits that being a member of the, this organisation, um, there is an expectation by the community of showing leadership and being looked upon to be a leader and we very much value um, our development of people as leaders in the organisation.